Okay, good afternoon friends. DK here with Mr. V Amps and we have a PV Solo Series Bandit 112 made in USA. That would be Meridian, Mississippi where they used to make all the PV stuff and it was good once upon a time. Anyway, um, it's dirty. This came in from an estate sale. Um, and I have no so, idea if it works anyway, or not. Let's turn our volumes down to zilch. There's normal gain volume down to zilch. That's an EQ. Um, what does that say? Super super saturation. Okay, post, bottom, body, edge. Okay, that's an EQ. And then a reverb, doodly squat. So we got everything down to zero. And we'll, we'll give this a bath. This one does have a three-prong rounded cord for safety. Yay. And I have it turned off, so we're going to plug it in. Alright, so now it's plugged in. And now we're going to turn it on and see if there's a big fireball. Nope, no fireball. Okay, so... Right was on. And it goes clicky when I step on the channel, when I click the channel thing. So I don't know which channel it's on. Um, let's go into the high gain over here and grab our cord. We must be on the gain channel. Uh oh. I am getting no sound on the high gain jack. I am getting no sound on the low gain jack. Oh boy. I get no sound anywhere. These feel a little loose. This should be blowing my face off right now. And it's not. So this amplifier is officially broken. So when you buy these things, my friends, you buy them with the assumption that they may very well be broken. So I can't get any sound out of this. Let's try the return. These feel sloppy. They feel really sloppy. They're switch crests, but they just feel really sloppy. Let me try the return. Okay, yeah, I got a buzz there. Okay, so I'm going to guess that the input jacks are jacked, and we will have to deal with that problem. So let's tear into it. Okay, so... I'm going to troubleshoot this as if it were stone dead because you never know what you're going to get. Um, I already have my inklings about it. Um, in general, it actually looks pretty good. It, this has got a date of uh, October 3rd, 1994 on the board. So that's just fine. Let's put our meter on continuity beep. We had a groovy 80s PV in here at one time and just one of the stupid fuses was blown. The continuity meter on this, the continuity beep on this meter is annoying. I don't particularly love it. So let's try this one. That fuse is okay. That fuse is okay. And that fuse is okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So that plug is currently earthed. And that one is earth, so the earth connection to those is okay. So the ground is okay there. What about here? Is that currently grounded? It shouldn't be. The signal from here should come back through because it could very well be this preamp send, but we plugged into the return and the return was working. So the tip of the send should come to the tip of there. So those are linked. Odds are the signal is passing through there. the signal going. 
these jacks on the face, these actually look to be okay. Let's zoom out a little bit. Alright, sorry, i got to take you along for the trip. These are a little loose over here, but they, they feel alright otherwise. Just give this a little bit of a crank down. Sometimes this tool sucks because you can't get in the corners good. But that seems to have... Some of these, when they put them so damn close together, you ain't getting in there, so we'll do that one with a wrench. So, anyway... Hmm... Where's our sound going? That's a very good question. Well, let's inject some sound into this and uh, see if we can... Uh, find it traveling through our amplificator. Okay, we've got our little pocket scope junior here running and we are going to check for our tone. Okay, there's our tone coming in and that even seems a little on the loud side. Let me see if I can turn that down. What's our minimum I can do on that? Is that our minimum? That's our lowest tone. That's the lowest volume. Okay, so there's our signal. I can pick it up there. Can I pick it up on the volume pot? I don't, no, I can't pick it up on the volume pot, so that must mean we're not on the normal channel. Maybe not. Let's try. Can I pick it up on the volume pot? Does it go through there, these resistors? Okay, it does go through these, goes, does go through those resistors. And then one would think it would go through one of these jumpers, because these jumpers look like they go to the volume pot. Do they go to the volume pot? I certainly don't see that they do. Let's see, that's the EQ for that jazz, three band EQ, and then we get to this one, which is this should be the high gain area. Anything over here? Do we see anything? Nope. Let's look through here. Do I see any signal in either of these gain or volume pots? Just turn them off the zero here. I should see some kind of signal over in here. And they do not. So, which one of these is the. One of these switches over here is an input. Whoop, what was that? That's my finger. <laughs> my finger makes a lot of noise. Okay. So. Let's turn the volume pot up off of zero. Maybe that'll help. So I've got signal. I do have signal at these resistors. And I apologize if this looks like crap filming it, but there's signal at that resistor. And then by the time I get to the volume pot, I got nada. I got nothing. Zip, zero, nothing. Okay. Do I know if this is on the clean or the dirty channel? I don't. But... I think we generally have an idea of what's going on. Our signal appears to come out of here, and then it's supposed to go in here, and it's not making it there. So I guess we'll pull the board and have a look around. Okay, so apparently in my fidgeting around here, I may have accidentally turned the guitar amp off or something, unplugged it, because my signal is making it to the clean volume over here. Let's see if we can find it anywhere in the tone stack. Yeah, there it is in the tone stack. We're following it on through. There it is on that part of the tone stack. About here? Oh yeah, there it is. It's getting louder. Do you have anything over here? This is the Distortotron. I have this kind of turned down. 
Okay, I have signal over there, so let's bring our probe over to this area. Let's see if it's actually making it all the way to the to here. Uh, something's making it there, but it looks like puke by the time it makes it there. Hmm. Is that because we're on the dirty channel rather than the clean one? No. Well, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I do have signal coming here. And there is gain. Can y'all see that on the scope? There's the doodly squat, and then we have gain. Okay. So that looks reasonable. And then we should come to here. Yep. And I plugged in here and I had sound, so... What the frig? Do I just have dirty controls or something? I guess I do. Okay, so this is the dirty channel. See, this should be the pre-gain. Oh yeah, there's a distortion. There's a volume on that. Now there's some fizz in that pot right there. She'd be dirty. Okay, so... As far as I can fathom, the amp does appear to be working. We need to give it a good listen again. We'll have to plug it back into the speaker. But I'm going to go through and just clean up these controls. And then after I do that, then we'll see if there's still a resolving issue. But it could very well have just been, you know, a crummy connection in here or a grubby switch. Uh, especially our clean to dirty switch if one of these was making poop contact. Um, once we get the signal rolling through here, we'll kind of bop that a little bit with the with the chopstick, or in my case, probably the. No. Yeah, I actually do have a chopstick. I was going to say I was going to use the butt end of a plastic screwdriver, but that'll work. And we'll see if we have any weird connections. But it probably is just dirty controls. After all, this is a vintage PV. They're usually pretty tough. Okay, so this is one heck of a jerry rig, but. <clears throat> Here's the deal. I got, it sounds fine, I got hiss now, which I didn't have, so let's go into the high gain here. I have it plugged into normal, or that's on lead, excuse me. We got plenty of, we got plenty of volume there. Bass, middle, treble, that works good. Let's go to normal. So that's great. That's good. That issue is resolved pretty much. But there's a second issue that I just caught. And admittedly, I feel like a little bit of a monkey for not catching it. If you notice on this amplificator, it has a knob for reverb. There's a reverb knob. So it's over here. So where's the reverb? Well, there's the connector for it. So where's the reverb? Uh, it's not in here. This might have had one of those side mount reverb tanks in it, but the reverb tank is missing. The return on it makes noise, so I know we're okay there. Um, but uh, I'm going to have to get a reverb tank to put this back to stock, but we'll give it a bath and we'll see what uh, we can cough up for a reverb tank and then I will see you on part two. Um, yeah, this one's going to hurt a little bit because reverb tanks aren't expensive but they're not free either. What a bummer. That's okay. We will make this thing sing again. These are good amps and they're tough as nails and they do have a following and I don't think I'm going to lose my keister on it, but it's going to be more work than I had thought. Darn. Okay, so I guess I'll conclude part one. I'll just call this part one. It's short, but hey. Um, I'm going to give the amp chassis a bath and the cabinet a bath and get everything like clean and looking really good. I did find, <clears throat> thank you internet, um, an actual original spring reverb tank with the K1 
cable that's going to fit on there, so I'm not going to have to fabricate anything. Um, so it should be the correct cable in the bag with the right Tolex to match this Tolex and all of that. So I'm happy about that. As thumbs up an inappropriate symbol with all this politically correct crap, that probably means something other than hooray or good. But we can't afford to be politically correct on this channel anymore. Okay, so it looks like the Sam's going to survive and it's going to pan out. I'm going to have a little more in it than I wanted, but there's still room, you know, to take care of myself. And I don't know how much this particular model amp will bring, but when we're done with it, it's going to be gorgeous. I looked at a bunch of the other uh, ones from the 90s and things that are on reverb, and they're beat up. Mine's just grubby. As soon as I fix it, it's going to look gorgeous. It's going to be fantastic. All right, enough with the creepy voice. We'll see you in a few days.